Hello, and welcome to this short Learning Blade video where we'll go through your new Learning Blade account and how to use the accounts you've been given to quickly get students logged in so they can explore STEM careers and technologies so they can see the future that they want to be part of. You probably received a email that looks something like this with an administrative username and password, a teacher username and password, and a student self sign-up code. The administrators in Learning Blade have a couple key features. They can uh, create bulk uploads of student CSV files if you wanted to load students in that way. They can also create more staff, and that's what we'll talk about later, how you can create your own staff account. The teachers in Learning Blade have the privilege of assigning lessons to students and printing reports and all of those fun things. So we do recommend teachers use teacher passwords and accounts. And then there's the student self signup code. We're going to show you right now how you can use your student self signup code to get students logged into Learning Blade and enjoying learning about STEM careers and technologies. You would ask your students to go to learningblade.com and they would see this page. The students will then click the login at the top right of the page, which will take them to the login page. Once students are on this page, what you'll notice is a button that says student self sign up. You would ask your students to click on that button and then to enter the code that you have provided them, to enter the code that you've provided them so they can create their own student account. What you'll notice is that there's five red asterisks. Those are the fields that the students must fill in to, to create a Learning Blade account. First name, last name, username, and password, twice. Now they could choose to just use first initials of the first name or abbreviated last name, whatever your school um, choice is on that, but you do have to fill in all five fields. We recommend that you not let students choose any wild username and password of their choosing, but rather to follow your school's protocol for how they log into school devices. Now that, they now that they've clicked register on this, they can go ahead and log into Learning Blade and explore STEM careers. But what we'd like to do next is quickly show you how you can use that administrative password that you have to log yourself into Learning Blade so that way you can create your own teacher account and create more class codes for more of your sections. The way you'll do that is you'll come back to the Learning Blade login page and you'll enter your administrative password and login. Once you've logged into the administrator page, you will click on the staff menu button at the top and then click create staff. This is where you can create a staff account for yourself with a username and password that's familiar to you and that you'll remember. Once you've created your own staff username and password, you can then create classes. So what we'd like you to do is you click on the Classes tab and then click Create a Class. Once you've created a class, so you can call it your new STEM period B account, you can click, you would assign it to the teacher yourself and then you can choose a subject, although that's not necessary, red asterisk, and click Save. Now that I've created a new account for myself, you would click on it and you'll notice in the top right corner of this account is a generate class signup code button. This will generate a class code for, that you can use to get students logged into your period B class. You would follow this procedure through all of your periods that you teach, creating unique class codes. And then of course, you could use those class codes to get students in different sections to log in to Learning Blade. Essentially, that's how you get students logged in and get started quickly in Learning Blade. You use student class codes to go ahead and get students to log in themselves, or you log in as administrator and use the student upload option. We hope you've enjoyed this video and that it helps you get started in Learning Blade quickly. Thank you.